What's going on guys, T-Mart here. Earlier today, there were some new weapons added in to Black Ops 3, and I've already got some gameplay to share with you guys. Now, this gameplay is coming from Jamie Curry on Twitter. I'm gonna link his Twitter down in the description. If I find a YouTube channel or anything else of his, I'm gonna link it down there as well. But uh, he was lucky enough to already get his hands on the nail gun and the disc gun that were just added in to the game. So at the start here, you guys are seeing a gameplay with the nail gun. It's called the DIY 11 Renovator. And uh, it's a new SMG, and honestly, it looks super solid, as you guys are seeing from this gameplay. It's a very high damage, a low rate of fire SMG. It's got 25 rounds in the mag. It's got a pretty quick reload, and it's very quick to kill. It looks like it's a very solid weapon in terms of damage. It does look like if you're not the first person on target, like if you get shot first, it kind of goes a little bit haywire because of that slow rate of fire and it's hard to hit enemies. But if you're the first shot, usually you're going to do pretty well with this thing, which is kind of cool. And uh, it also, if you guys listen to the gameplay, I'll be quiet for a sec. Doesn't that sound like it's suppressed? I mean, he doesn't have the suppressor attachment on there. I doubt it's even an option, but it sounds like the gun is suppressed automatically, which makes sense because, I mean, a nail gun makes a lot less noise shooting than a normal weapon. So that could be an added benefit of using this thing that you get the benefits of the suppressor at all times without actually having to equip it, which would be kind of cool. But uh, moving on, let's check out the new uh, Pizza Saucer Frisbee disc gun gameplay. This thing is insane. So this is the D13 Sector special weapon that was just added into the game and uh, you guys are gonna see from this gameplay it really reminds me of the Banshee energy shotgun so if you guys remember that DLC weapon it shot those little orbs of energy that went across the map it was an unlimited range one hit kill that's essentially what this is it shoots a very powerful one hit kill disc but it's got a really slow travel time so Unless you're close to medium range, kind of forget about it. I mean, you can try to pre-aim people, but for the most part, people are going to be able to get out of the way. It's going to take forever to get there, so it's really not good at ranges. It does have ricochet to increase your chances of hitting enemies, like it'll bounce off walls and keep going, but uh, it's got a really, really, really awful reload time. Look how long it takes for this thing to reload. So, in terms of practicality, this thing gets a big fat thumbs down. Like, it's not a useful weapon, but uh, in terms of a fun weapon that's kind of different and kind of, you know, fun to mess around with for the last two weeks of the game, absolutely, it looks like it's pretty cool. So, uh, there you guys have it. That's gameplay with the two new ranged weapons that were added in to Black Ops 3 this afternoon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, big thank you to Jamie Curry for the gameplay, and uh, I'm going to catch you guys later. I'm going to get back on the IW beta and get back to grinding. I'll see you guys there. Peace out.